igniting possibilities with DBS Asian Insights. After years of lagging behind its biggest Asian neighbor, India looks set to become the bell of the ball. But will its crumbling infrastructure continue to be a big stumbling block? And what lessons can it learn from China? Bernie Lowe finds out in our Asia Tomorrow series. For two decades, China has held on to its top spot as the world's fastest growing economy. This year, however, India looks set to finally claim that prize, displacing the dragon with its own breakneck pace of growth. But the numbers alone don't tell the full story. China, in many areas, is already industrialized, has much higher wages and much higher productivity uh, than India. Uh, I think what India is, is uh, doing in terms of their growth is an early industrialization process. So you have pockets of industrialization in India, but you don't really have an industrialized country. So India is really playing catch up. And New Delhi has a lot of catching up to do. Foreign direct investment into the nation hit 35 billion last year compared to China's 128 billion. While on the World Bank's ease of doing business ranking, India dropped to 142 out of 189 economies with China's ranking standing at 90. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is hoping to improve that by pitching his Make in India campaign, even as Beijing tries to shed its image as the factory to the world. China also had mastered the art of low-cost manufacturing, which leads to higher profitability. And therefore in India, our labor regime, our infrastructure, our cost of utilities, our cost of capital, these are all areas where we are trying to we are, we are trying to reform. The goal is right, to bring manufacturing jobs into India and ultimately higher level manufacturing jobs. China has had great success as a manufacturing hub, but the reality is that China is getting more and more expensive. We saw very recently the possible move of Foxcoms, some of their Apple producing factories from China into India. So perhaps that's a sign of success for what Made in India could be all about, but it's far from done. But for India to truly compete against China, building up its infrastructure is key. And Delhi has taken some steps in that direction. The government has put in additional amounts of money into railways, into rural roads, into uh, highways. These are all sectors which were lying stagnant. And now we are making a large amount of investment in these segments. Although China is heavily criticized for overinvesting in infrastructure, they did recognize that it's a way to get people to work. It's a way to build home companies. Uh, it's a way to build an appealing city. That first impression to investors is very, very important. China has got that first impression down very, very well. India doesn't. Aside from overcoming that roadblock, there are a few other critical issues that both countries need to address. India and China need to focus on what I call the little brick. It's not being this great nation alone. It's addressing bureaucracy, regulation, interventionism, and corruption. And until China and India address these four critical issues and address them very directly, it's going to be a while before they progress to the level of more developed economies in the region. And those are the building blocks that both superpowers have to address as they build the Asia of tomorrow. Bernie Lowe, CNBC. Now, China says ni hao to Mr. Roboto. The country is getting on, getting in on the game on robotics as more factories there are opting for robots to do the jobs instead of humans. So this is another story for you in our Asia Tomorrow series, and you can get all that right there on our website, cnbc.com, is the address where you can get all the latest video reports as well. Okay, so we're going to go to break here on Squad, but coming up next, MERS is on the rise in South Korea. We'll get you the very latest numbers that comes your way next. Igniting possibilities with DBS Asian Insights.